there are big questions these days about how the music academies can contribute to the European agenda of music. I think one of the key points is that we have to have a focus on maintaining and developing the relevance we have not only to our students as being fantastic places where they can educate themselves, but also the way that we have a focus on being cultural institutions that has some meaning to the societies that surrounds us. We have to have strong programs in, the, in this cultural area. Uh, so we're not only educational institutions, we also need to be cultural institutions with outreach programs, institutions that have focus on uh, employability, global mentality, all these things that we discuss uh, in the AEC and amongst ourselves as institutions. I think we musicians and music educators, we are missionaries. We believe in the power of music, um, in the power of music that can bring joy to the life of a lot of, lot of people, regardless of their background, regardless of races, regardless of age. Um, it's a wonderful thing that uh, we should use much more. Music is... Um, tool to communicate, a uh, wonderful tool to communicate um, the deepest layer of our uh, emotions. Um, and this self-expression or the need for self-expression uh, seems to be a fundamental uh, human need. So we missionaries, we should keep fighting for the course of uh, music education and even though we can make only very small steps toward this magnificent uh, idea to ensure uh, access uh, to music for everyone, we should never give up. We have to move forward and bring the message to many people. The idea of a European agenda for music is to bring together uh, the, the different players in a more coherent way. But it's also um, a question of how we can be more effective advocates for music. If we have a strong set of objectives, a strong set of values that we can project uh, that illustrate both to ourselves and to society at large, to politicians, the true value of music as a fully embedded element of society and culture. This, I think, will strengthen all of the various um, aspirations and uh, demands that, 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 that we have in our musical lives. It's all very well to feel that uh, a place is deserved for music, but we have to articulate all of the reasons why that is the case. And working together on an agenda, which I hope when it eventually emerges will be clear concise and compelling in what it has to say will, I think, take us forward in a very positive way. Culture is not only about building museums or auditoriums. All along the European Union, 500 million people live their everyday life with portions of art and music. Many sing in chorus, play in folk groups, amateur orchestra or rock bands. From a small village to a big capital, a feast without music and without musicians is unthinkable. Due to the financial crisis, due to the general development in societies where culture is under pressure, we see that in many countries grants are being reduced, we see that uh, institutions like orchestras or whatever are being shut down. I think it is very important to keep the diversity and to keep the volume uh, of cultural institutions that we have to, in Europe because we can, as cultural institutions and of institutions of education, contribute to making lives better for people, for the people of Europe. The European Music Council wants to bring together all the music sectors in Europe that is both the creative, the productive, education, and so on, and get the sector to speak in one voice of the future of music in Europe, in what they call a European agenda for music. AEC will contribute with the knowledge and tools 
develop within the polyphonia and deal with some of the wider cultural and social issues, for instance, how to ensure music education for all, and how to strengthen the recognition of the social value of music through social inclusion and involvement in social institutions. It is, in my view, the social contract of higher music education institutions is an issue of highest importance, and I hope it will be a central issue in this coming work. Thinking of the role of, of European Union in, in culture policies, I would say that uh, if European Union wants to make change for the real life of the people, they do need NGOs, they need European networks. And what we can offer is, is that we have these wide networks and in collaboration with the Commission and the huge civil society sector, we really can make a change. But it needs that there has to be platforms for dialogue. And uh, well, it's all about that we have a same vision and dream to make people's union, not only commercial union, but people's union. I think the AEC has always been the voice for higher music education in Europe. So if now we want to create a European agenda for music, which embraces performing, teaching and learning, distribution, production of music, it is inevitable that AEC also has part in the formulating of this agenda. And I do think it's very important that the complete music sector will in one voice formulate something and in, in that will be much stronger to come forward in the European community than if every association did it separately. This agenda has a variety of audiences. Uh, obviously, at the highest level, it's something which we hope will enable us to lobby more effectively and be more effective in our advocacy at the European level with ministers, with politicians and indeed with the, the bureaucrats uh, who are responsible for uh, aspects of the European programme. But it should also be of such a nature that it can be applied with relevance in more national and indeed local situations. So I think one of the issues for the drafting of it will be how we try to capture very broad principles in such a way that they can then be flexible in their application. And this is one of the reasons why there is right from the beginning, I think, um, a shared view that we should begin by looking perhaps at the five musical rights of the International Music Council, which is an affiliate organization of UNESCO, in which one sees this very fundamental level at which the rights and responsibilities of society in relation to music are articulated. I think from that we can begin to build the layers of detail that give us a greater relevance and specificity for the European context. When people in the society ask us about that, why do we exist? Is it only to prepare musicians? But for what? And here the social contract, contributing to social uh, issues, agendas, organizations, institutions, whatever, is a overwhelming and very important issue. So I hope this new cooperation will go into this.